Well, good Thursday morning. It is 520. We have a flash flood watch that will take effect at 8 o'clock this morning and will remain in effect throughout the evening hours. I wouldn't rule out this, however, being extended because we'll be tracking scattered showers as well as slow moving storms throughout the entire day today. Already starting off this morning with seeing a strong storm near Bagby as well as Helmet uh, near Ashland as well as Doswell. We're dealing with some light to moderate rain showers near Beaver Dam, Apple Grove, Lake Anna. We're seeing damp conditions on Interstate 95 as well as Interstate 64. And we're seeing an isolated storm just south of Fork Union on uh, Route 15. And we're also seeing some light to moderate showers closer towards Dillon and Gladstone and Palmyra and Lake Monticello. That's so far the only action currently, but again, it's going to be a long day today. Throughout the morning hours, looking at scattered light to moderate showers, but by the afternoon, we're tracking the chance of seeing some heavy rainfall and some slow moving storms, especially throughout your evening hours. We'll maintain those rain chances even overnight. I want to rule out an isolated shower to storm with throughout the overnight hours. So it's going to be a long day in the weather department as we're looking at those rain showers and our temperatures not breaking into the 90s today. However, it still is going to be warm and muggy this afternoon. Your high temperatures are going to range from the low to the mid 80s this afternoon and those overnight lows dropping back into the low to mid 70s. Speaking of rain, we're going to move things down to the tropics. Tropical depression 11 still is yet to actually strengthen to a tropical storm looking to actually make a tropical storm or strengthen to a tropical storm by about eight o'clock tonight. So we'll have an update for you guys around 11 o'clock this morning as the new update will come out. But we're looking at this wet pattern sticking with us even as we head into the weekend. Those temperatures at least remaining in the 80s, which is actually just slightly below what's normal for this time of year. And we are finally seeing some drier conditions as we start next week. So we'll be grateful for those drier conditions because we do need a break from the rain.